Hey everyone, so today I am doing a drugstore haul. I went to the drugstore a couple days ago actually, and I'm excited to show you everything that I bought, and I actually tried out one of the products already today because I was going to film a drugstore like springtime makeup tutorial this morning because it's been pretty requested, and the products that I tried to use this morning are from this haul, and I didn't like the eyeshadow palette that I purchased. I went to Walgreens. That is always like my drugstore of choice because there's so many around here, and there's really not that many like... um. Rite Aids or CVS's or anything where I live, it's all like a Walgreens, so that's always where I go. Okay, so I'm just going to jump right into the haul, and I'm going to start with the eyeshadow palette that I was talking about that I tried to use this morning that I did not like at all. It's by Maybelline, and it's the Legendary Lilac eyeshadows, and I thought they would make a really great, they would be really great for a tutorial because they're very pretty, and I liked that all of the purples kind of had like a pink shimmer in them, which I thought was really pretty and spring appropriate and stuff. Um, but really, the dark one, it did have a pigmentation, but the rest all just kind of looked like glitter on my eyes. There was no, like, pigmentation payoff. It was just, they were very light and sheer, and I find that I always have really bad luck with drugstore eyeshadows, so I would love to know your recommendations. If you had good luck with drugstore eyeshadows, or what ones are really good or work out for you, let me know in the comments below, because I have purchased quite a few, like, little palettes from the drugstore recently and I haven't been impressed or happy with any of them especially for tutorials. I'm not going to use something in a tutorial just for the sake of it being affordable. I want it to be quality and a good product so I can recommend it to you guys. So what, let me know like your favorite drugstore eyeshadows so I can go check them out. So let me know in the comments below. Next thing I got which I'm really excited to use, I haven't tried this yet, it's by Revlon. It's the Photo Ready um, sculpting blush palette and I got the shade peach and the reason I like this was first of all the colors are super pretty it's like a peachy blush with a bronzer and a highlight and I love the highlight because it's like a golden white highlight which I really like that kind of color and the peach color was also very very pretty so I like that you have like all three together it kind of takes like a guesswork out or if you forget to highlight I always forget to highlight um, so it kind of has everything in it to kind of like remind you, contour, highlight if you're into that kind of thing. If you've tried these out before, let me know how you like them. This is my first time trying it and yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Then in my last drugstore haul, which you haven't seen it, I will link it right here. But in case you have your annotations turned off and you can't see the little annotation right here, I will also have that link down below. But in my last drugstore haul, I tried or I bought one of the bouncy blushes, but there was hardly any pigmentation in it at all. It's very light, um, but I love the formula on these because they're so spongy and smooth. So I got the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush, and I got Hot Tamale, which was recommended by a lot of you guys, which was like the darkest, brightest shade. Darkest, brightest. I hope you guys know what I mean. But it's super bright. It almost looks red. But when you put it on, as you will see, it's very sheer. So it's definitely buildable. And I just like how they feel, to be totally honest. I just love how they feel. So... I'm really excited to try this. I will definitely be using this when I do my makeup tomorrow morning. I haven't actually tried it yet, so yay! And I just picked up one of my favorite mascaras that I use every single day, the Maybelline Colossal Volume. I've talked about this a whole bunch, but my current one is getting a little bit dry, so got another one of those. Then I got two really fun lipsticks. Um, these are, what are they called? The Moondrops by Revlon. They come in the green tubes. And I really wanted to get the MAC um, Pink Pigeon, I think it was called. And it was always sold out. Um, everywhere I went to try and get it and stuff. So in my head, I had envisioned this like really pretty hot pink of how it looked. I don't know if this particular color is a dupe for it, but in my head, this is exactly the color that I wanted that I imagined Pink Pigeon to look like. And this is called Persian Melon. And it's a very bright hot pink, which definitely that's how um, Pink Pigeon looked. So I'll swatch it for you really quick on my hand. Very, very bright hot pink. So I'm super excited to wear this color. Um, love it, love it. The next color I got is called Love That Pink, which is just a little bit more coral. Um, and I'll swatch it next to Pink Pigeon. So this is Love That Pink, and this is, um, Persian Melon. Is that what it was called? I'll have all the names of everything that I'm showing in the description box down below. Then I got two more Maybelline Color Sensational Lipsticks. I showed one in my Top 5 Bright Lipsticks for Spring, which I will link down below if you want to see the colors that I picked. But I picked, I purchased um, Fuchsia Fever, and in that video I showed Fifth Avenue Fuchsia, which is a lot different than Fuchsia Fever. This one is like a, a bubblegum pink, and I'll swatch it. And Fifth Avenue Fuchsia, it's right here. Um, this, is, this one is Fuchsia Fever. 
But Fifth, Fifth Avenue Fuchsia, which I showed in the other video, is like a dark, bright pink. It's not like a hot pink like this. I don't know. You'll have to see that video um, so you know. But they're, they both have fuchsia in the name, but they're totally different colors. And then I got Coral Crush, which a lot of you guys recommended to me. And it is a really, really pretty orange coral. I'll show you that one. This one might be my favorite, actually, out of all the ones. It's right here. I hope the lighting is good in this video. They're just all really, really pretty, bright, fun colors for spring and summer. I'm like all about the bright lips. Then I got a Revlon lip butter, which is by far the best one that I've ever tried. And I'm so excited because there's so many colors that the Revlon lip butters come in. And I've kind of been overwhelmed always going and trying to pick out the right one and stuff. And this one is in the color Cotton Candy, which is the perfect shade. I had... I think it was cupcake. It was too like blue pink. It wasn't attractive. And then some of the other ones that I tried were too sheer. There was really no point in wearing them. They just looked like your lips were moisturized. But this one, Cotton Candy, is the perfect amount of like gloss and color. It's right here if it'll focus. So you definitely get like a pink to your lips and they just look super glossy. So I would highly recommend if you've been overwhelmed by the color selection or just haven't tried them yet, if you're going for one, I think this is a universally flattering color on any skin tone. You're going to get just the right amount of color payoff, and it's just a super pretty pink. So Cotton Candy Revlon Lip Butter is awesome. Then I picked up another one of the Sally Hansen's Salon FX Nail Strips, and the one I got is called Frackstar. I've actually had this one before, and I wanted to get it again because it's just so pretty. It's just all glitter. It might not look that glittery on camera, but it really, really is. And I purchased one of these, again, in my last drugstore haul. And a lot of you guys asked me to do, like, a how to, uh, how do I apply it and stuff type video. And I was thinking of doing that still and also doing, like, a wear test. So I would go, like, a whole week and show you how they looked after a week and then upload the video. So if you're interested in that, if that's something you'd be wanting to see, then let me know in the comments and I'll definitely film that for you guys. Sticking with nail items, I bought four nail polishes, which I'm really excited about. I haven't noticed, I've been kind of obsessed with the Sally Hansen Pacific Blue Nail Polish. Um, it's the Extreme Wear. They're only like a dollar, they're $2.99 actually, and at Walgreens right now they have two for $4, so you save um, $2. <laughs> Math in my head. Good one, Jenny. Um, so I got two really fun spring colors. The orange one is called Sunkissed, and the coral one is called Cor Coral Reef. So I thought those were really pretty, and since I only own Pacific Blue, I wanted to try other colors in the line. So these ones are really, really pretty. And I got my very first Sinful Colors nail polish. I've never tried them. They're even cheaper than the Sally Hansen ones. These ones I think are like $1.99. And the reason I got this one, it's called Let's Talk. It is not the color I'm wearing right now. It's like a shimmery purple that almost looks like it's glowing, and I've been searching for a purple like this for so long, and OPI does not make one. I swear they don't. I haven't found one through China Glaze, Essie, anything, and I wanted like a very pretty, rich, shimmery purple like this for so long, and if you know, of if, if OPI makes one like this, definitely let me know in the comments because I have been unable to find one like this. The last one I got is the Essie's Lux Effects in Set in Stones which is a chunky, chunky silver glitter. I have a couple silver glitter um, polishes, but this one is like super chunky, extra chunky. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought it was really pretty and I was so happy and pleased with the a Cut Above Salon Effects that I got in my birch box. It's the pink one that I wanted to try out another one of these. So very, very pretty and I'm loving the Salon Effects or Lux Effects by Essie. I think that is everything that I got. I actually, no, I did buy one thing, one other thing, but it's in my bathroom. It's the Neutrogena, Neutrogena Naturals Makeup Removing Cleanser, but I'm not going to get up because you've all seen it. I talk about it a bunch of times on my channel. It's what I use to remove my makeup every night, and I was out of it, so I bought one of those. But that is my drugstore haul. Don't forget to check out my beauty and fashion blog, polishandpearls.com, my vlog channel, Miss Jen Vlogs, and my Twitter and Facebook, at Miss Jen Fabulous. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.